Good Thursday, July 24th, 2008. I'm Joanne and this is Rocket Boo. Edward Eddie Davidson, a convicted spam king, escaped from jail last week and is on the loose. Davidson was captured after sending a massive amount of unsolicited spam mail while posing as penny stock companies. After only a few months of his two-year sentence in a low-security jail, Eddie upped and left last week and is now wanted by the FBI, the IRS, the USM and RMSST. He's also wanted by the LOL, the OMFG and the ROFL-MAO. MIT is D-A-N-C-E-ing on the boundaries of copyright banditry again, this time with a site called YouTube. Since MIT is an academic research institution, they also carry the champion for fair use title, in this case elegantly providing screenshots and metadata of the most recently removed videos from YouTube. But alas, no actual video available. But we know where to go for that, right? Delete-tube! Oh, they seem to have themselves been deleted. In the ocean. In Australia, a white humpback whale named Migaloo is not alone. Another white whale has just been spotted and is believed to be a relative. I reckon it's all our fault. Imagine how much Clorox and Tide laundry detergent gets pumped out into the ocean every day. Albino? Or just a few pre-washed spin cycles with bleach? Do you think Tide and Crest white strips are in cahoots? Migaloo has a turtle cousin. Not sure how a whale became cousins with a turtle, but I like turtles. Coral reef bleaching. Warm temperatures are causing coral bleaching as a stress response. Bleached coral is very susceptible to disease and can often die. Hmm, if only coral had the resources we humans have. Just comb in, rinse. Why not reschool feet fish to work on the reefs? In a Washington DC hair and nail salon, fish are being used to provide pedicures. The fish are kept in very warm water, which does not support aquatic life, meaning they're really hungry and flock to your feet to eat the dead and wanted skin. Aren't there laws against this in hue fish main treatment? Sounds very fishy to me. And how can it scale? Oh, this just in. Cam in Hawaii writes, with some talk of explosions and volcanoes erupting in the comments this week, I thought I'd send these pics along that my friend took yesterday of the volcano that's going off here. He said he saw lightning coming out of the cloud next to that little boat and water spout. Pretty rare shots, really. He got them on the local news program and said I could share them with you guys. Later, Cam. That's hot. But not as hot as our final story, which is a good indication that we are coming close to the end of fish in the sea. It's the finger food plate ring. Part of the beauty of this incredible invention is the complexity involved in using it. It seems so simple and so cheap, but only the most elegant and graceful and ambidextrous people can truly focus on their hors d'oeuvre whilst appearing to listen and participate in the social activity surrounding them. I'm ordering 10 right now, and I hope they have thumb sizes. I rode around on the back of a pink dolphin once. It was weird. I prefer a normal blue-grey dolphin any day.